So, didn't get any of the other good starts. So, I'm going to obtain a random boss relic. Black Star. Now, Black Star is really great, except I am on Ascension Mode level 18. I mean, okay, Black Star isn't actually good, but getting it as your first relic is pretty cool. But because I'm on Ascension level 18, the elites are really, really hard. Like, really, 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 really hard. Like, beating one is tough. <laughs> um, so where are the rest? Like, I, I want to do at least two elites now. So... I can do two elites here, but they're back to back. Like, my card quality would have to be fucking insane for that to make sense. So there's three rests here, with two elites in between, two question marks. But from here... Two shops isn't worth it unless this is gold. So going up here, I guess? Does me another normal fight, though. There's no way I'm doing this elite. But this path, I have two less fights. I just have to hope these question marks are really good. And if this is too strong, then I'll just skip this elite and go here. Actually, I'm probably going to go up here anyway. Oh, but then I'm skipping a rest. Ah. Oh. Fuck it, let's go for it. I'm going to get my ass kicked. That's okay. Show cards, same cards, as always. Avoid all damage. No point attacking. It's got five more strength now. All fights at Ascension level 18 are hard. Like, all of them. I'm taking one damage. It sucks. Can someone ban the buzz, please? Draw five cards. Randomize the cost of the cards in your hand. I mean, that can be interesting. Footwork is not particularly crazy. It's a power, though. It has some value. This is good. So I can either upgrade a card or get Tongs, which upgrades a random card in my hands each turn for the rest of combat. Yeah. Pain is a really tough curse, though, but I can remove it. Tongs is really good. I wouldn't want any of this anyway. I do need higher valued cards though. If I'm going to be taking on that elite, I need cards that do more damage. And so I guess Dagger Thrust is worth having. I don't like Dagger Thrust. It's a garbage card. But I need um, higher valued cards. And it's a, it's a, it's a fight. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out. Thanks, TB man, for two gifted subs. Hope you're doing good, man. Yuki, thank you for the 100 bits. He gets stronger every turn. Um, as much as I want to use footwork here, I need to have a chance to kill him next turn. Yep. I would have killed him regardless. Didn't need to take that one damage. Noxious Fumes is also good. Uh, there's nothing I can do in here. No. There's a Blade Dance there. Would've, I would have loved that. Okay, so I need my powers like immediately. So this guy wakes up after three turns. Which actually means that Warp's Tongs will upgrade stuff. Um... Yeah. Okay. Um, so I may as well just do damage here. Yeah. So next turn I'll use Sneko Oil and hope I can just do some crazy shit. None of them are zero. Can you not have zero cost with... Sneko? The fuck? 
How is that a thing? Well, that is massively, massively disappointing. Huh. It's great. You can just bad luck, I think. Wow. I, I seem to have a lot of that, chat. I do seem to have a lot of that. Wait! Why are my cards still randomized? They're permanently randomized? And they're all permanently randomized to two? Can I just stop being unlucky for a day in my fucking life, chat? Just, just one. Can I live a normal life of a normal person for one fucking day? Is that too much to fucking ask? Oh my god. I win this fight, but I mean, at what cost? The next two non-boss chests you open gain two relics, it's pretty good. Whenever you use a potion, gain five HP, it's pretty good too. Um, Invenom is also good. Not really for what I have right now. All, all that matters is that I win the next fight, and Invenom does not help me do that. Invenom is the worst card for me right now. Upgraded, it's good. But, uh, Bane actually helps me out more. Bane helps me out more with the elites too. Honestly, Dagger, Dagger Spray helps me out more. Because the, uh, there's a lot of AoE guys I need here. Like, it ruins the quality of my deck, but the main thing I'm trying to do is survive right now. Taking one damage here. <sighs> Give me two really good relics here. More and Kunai. Both are good, but don't really synergize with what I'm doing. More is good because I'm not getting a... Um, uh, a chest, uh, a, a merchant anytime soon. It's whenever I do a level, I get 12 more gold. Until I go, until I spend money on a merchant. So I'm resting here and hoping these question marks are really strong. It sucks I can't upgrade cards though. Um, this fight is not too bad for me. It's a shame I haven't got any potions, though. Uh, doing this would just make him stronger. He gets three strength every skill I use. It's every skill, right? So I can use this. Um, Eleven's probably worth it. Yeah, so I have to defend myself here. And hope I can kill him next turn. Yep. Anchor start with 10 blockers, good. Whenever you play a power card, heal two, that's also good. Ghost in a jar, plus one intangible. That, that, that is some good stuff I just picked up. Infinite blades is also good, even though um, Unload is actually also pretty good. One, one mana for 14 damage. And it synergizes with a lot of discard stuff. I'm going to take it, I think. Infinite Blade really helps with Kunai, though. It just... For surviving the next fight, Kunai isn't as significant as Unload. 
No, actually, unload won't work against the next elite because it will... The gray cards will be discarded rather than exhausted. And infinite blades now heals me because of bird face turn. So yeah, yeah, the infinite blades is better. A shop, that's not bad. Um, increasing damage of Shiv and being able to heal me is good. Flash of Steel is good. Removing a card is also good. Um, accuracy is probably better here, though. It just doesn't do any immediate damage, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to take an Accuracy. Yeah. And what potion can I get? Yeah, don't forget potions, true. Um, Dexterity is better than weak. Shame it's two of the same potion, though. Man, ornamental fan would have been nice. Okay. Let's hope this is a healer of some kind. It's not. Um. The odds of me surviving this next fight is low, except that I can heal twice. <sighs> Removing a card is still probably the best move. Yeah, pain's already been removed. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna move an attack, yeah. The thing is, attacks though increase kunai, but I mean, I'm mainly trying to safeguard my health. Yeah, we'll just remove a strike. Me, uh, I didn't, nah, I don't know. I didn't even need to go for this elite, technically. Um, so we're gonna do damage here. So I'm starting with the heal, the, the the block from Anchor. So I may as well heal and strike here too. And hope I can kill this next turn. Ultimately, it's just going to depend on how much the decay hurts me. So I can dagger spray for eight. Shiv for four. It's not enough to kill him. With Dexterity Potion, Dexterity Potion and Footwork make this 16, and I'm taking 4, so I live. And then enables me to do max damage as well as set up Footwork. And I heal as well, because I'm on 3 then. Yeah, I have to. Uh, or, or I can Ghost in a Jar. Actually, Ghost in a Jar is probably the better move here. No. So the reason I want to keep Ghost in a Jar is because there's a hypothetical turn where I have no defense. Yeah. Oh, that heals me five too. Right, it heals me five. I forgot about that. I thought it was just healing me too. Yeah. Okay, so these heal me for four. It still doesn't kill him, but I can kill him next turn. So this heals me for two. Two, so I live, and then uh, I'm gonna think after that. Um clearly shiv. Ah, oh, but then he puts more decays in my deck. It means the only two cards I'm drawing is these two cards. Next turn. Which means I'm taking two damage next turn if I don't kill this guy. Okay, so I kill him. Yeah, yeah, kill him. Damage him, hoping I can kill him next turn. Block, block. The 
This is what I was afraid of, and that's why I kept Ghost in a Jar. Specifically for this scenario. What a terrible draw. The heal is good too. Imagine if I had lost that by 1 HP. Okay. Um, it's 12... Uh, 18, 24, 32. So he dies to the poison. Damn, I could have used Dagger Spray had I drawn it. Like if I had, uh, if I'd done the, that a different way, I could have used Dagger Spray. Okay, I left. Cool, just barely. Blood Vial, at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP, that's good. Let it open it every time you play 3 skills in a single turn, deal 5 damage to all enemies. That's, that's good, but I mean, uh, it doesn't synergize to Kunai. So three attacks or three skills helps me now. I don't want any of that. My deck quarterly is still pretty decent, all things considered. So I'm healing here. I've got no potions to help me with this fight, though. I started with no damage. Balls. Again, no damage. My damage is really low. Like, really low. I uh, guess I am defending this because I have no choice. Oh, balls. Oh, that was good. Um, Warp Tongue's upgraded. Uh... Accuracy. Do I get rid of slime or do I deal six damage? So you do a very hard hit next turn. I don't want to proc him right now. Ah, fuck off. I didn't do the math. He did not do the math. Tong's actually upgraded my shiv. Stop just playing cards, Matt, and think about what the fuck you're doing. Only thing helped me here is my dexterity keeps going up. I'm gonna take one damage here. He has exactly 75 HP. Didn't think about the poison. So I can proc him and make his attack less. I'm frail, so I'm getting less block. Um, doing three attacks increases my defense. Okay, Dagger Spray, finally. I'm one damage off. Um, I don't have three skills to cast for that, that AoE. I can proc and break him, but that doesn't seem wise. The poison actually kills one, so I'm, I don't know what I'm smoking. So I'm fine. Yeah. This will fray on me again, but it's not a huge deal. It keeps upgrading the shivs. Um, may as well just defend all this, really. Oh, he's gonna split anyway, but... Get rid of all the slimes. Shame the slimes don't count as skills. They just keep fucking up my defend. He's one off to die to the poison. That sucks. Not that matters. I do have this. Let's hope the relic that I get isn't trash. Hooray! Well, the gold cards I got are trash. What the hell is this, man? That's such as this is just all garbage.
I don't think I have the mana, Silver. Doppelganger, next turn, draw X cards and gain X mana. Nah, that's terrible. Only works one turn and it, it's setting up next turn. You, you're giving up this turn for next turn, not knowing what cards you're going to draw. Like, how rare is it for you just not to have a turn? And, like, when you draw it, if you pass it up, then it just clogs up your deck. Malay is... Yeah, they're all bad. I'm not taking any of them. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. I do have warped tongs. But warped tongs isn't going to upgrade my powers before I use them, more than likely. Uh, I do have two cards that discard to gain me energy here. I think fusion hammer is the best, though. I can just no longer smith at rest sites. Uh, have I had pink eye? I think once, maybe? I don't know. Do I think gaming laptops are worth it? Depends if you need the portability. Yeah, I'll take it. Just because I have the tongs. It's not the worst of the energy things, but not the best. Because upgrading cards is such high value. Because you want the smallest deck possible with the most upgraded cards. So there's three rests. Is not a good map. Um, I guess my deck quality isn't so crazy that I want to hunt elites, but it's still a good move. So going up here to this elite, doing the uber elite, I don't really want to do. There is a rest between it though. There are two elites over here. A path sucks though. I would like the early shop to remove a card. They, all these suck. Then I can go up here and decide whether I want to do the elite or go up for the rest and the late shop. None of the, and this map just isn't good. So go here and make our decisions from this point. Yeah. Hello, Spitfire. I said hello before. Always keep in mind that normal fights are also hard. It's like, I don't exactly want to do normal fights. I can't even get through this guy's arm, armor. I do have quite a bit of heal though. And heal is pretty good. Uh, Blade Dance is amazing. I saw one in the early shop but wasn't able to get it. <laughs> like when you have um, Kunai or um, uh, Shuriken, Blade Dance is just invaluable. You weren't here for it, but I think was it Ascension 17 or 16? I had both Kunai, um, I Kunai Shuriken, three Blade Dancers, and two Acrobats, and so all I was doing was just casting like unlimited Blade Dance every turn. Um, I beat the final bosses in like two turns. <laughs> it was crazy. So, uh, another footwork would be really good. Because powers heal me, they're just so great. But uh, removing another card is also good. Not that I'm really drawing for much, because I don't really have much that I really need to draw. You know? I already have potions.
Nah, remove card. I'm still removing. Strike. Uh. Now I've removed defend. Uh -huh. Oh, the mask. I got I got the bad mask last time. Surely that's not going to happen again. Good good mask. Whenever you enter a question mark room, you gain 50 gold. That's good. It is unfortunate I had to give up my face for it, but, you know, sometimes sacrifices must be made. Uh, I should use a potion here. Because I might get one. Choose a card. Next turn, add three copies of that card into your hand. Does this cost zero forever? Or just until it gets used? Or is it just this turn? All of these suck. This turn? Yeah, fuck it, skip it then. I should take my small heal. Samish, did you bring me a sandwich? Taking some damage here, unfortunately. My health, no. Wow, this sucks. So I'm not cast casting Noxious Flames as much as I would like to. Um, so I either defend it or I get infinite blades because he's going to run away. Guess I have to kill him. So I'm giving up 4 HP to have a higher chance of killing him. This will be tough. A 17? Still gotcha, bitch. Try to run off with my gold. Okay, acrobats. Oh, acrobatics is just good. It's a damn lot of card cycle. Well, this isn't good. Did that in the right order there? Had I done that differently, I wouldn't have got the extra um, defense. Not that it mattered, but... So... I want to cycle, because I don't need defend here. Uh, I guess Noxious Fumes, more importance. No, I guess I'll do them both. Um, draw? So I either do, either do infinite blades or get more dexterity. I guess I am doing infinite blades. That's unfortunate. I still can't get rid of that fucking curse. Losing a lot of HP here. Not enjoying it, chat. So I can... Defend this out or get one more dexterity from Kunai and do some damage. Mm, maybe that was the wrong choice. It's not a huge difference, but. Okay. Max ascension is 20. So, he ain't gonna die. That is unfortunate. He is dead now, though. Deal four damage for each skill in your hand. No, don't need any of those things. So this boss will be a little bit tough. Now I'm gonna die. 
This boss is like the hardest fucking boss in the universe. I hate this boss with a fiery passion. It gets stronger every turn and it just makes me sad. The two strength I have given myself is not going to be sufficient. I mean, it's possible, it's not likely. Um, uh, I can get neutralized here. I did not get neutralized here. Uh. And he just gives you wounds, like... I can take three damage or use Noxious. Will I do Oko again? Possibly, possibly. I think I go with that. Because it does heal me a bit too. The wounds also really pile up. Um, guess we'll get rid of this. I do not want to keep this in my deck. It's the only card here I can't use. I just fucking use these already. Uh, I mean, what am I even cycling quickly for? Oh god, here's his big fucking attack. Can I even survive this? Well, I, I, there's no point thinking about the cards, because these are the only cards that I can use. Uh, 7 HP, okay. And keep in mind that, uh... The wounds are stacking up. My card quality is going down. If I draw badly, like I did just now, I will probably die. He's so close to death! Why? Why? Ah! Oh. No! <laughs> I don't think there's any card. That I could have drawn at any point. Hey, Mr. Tillis, thank you for $15, man. Hey, finished work, how you doing? It went terribly. I once more found a perfectly unique, unknown way to fail. Because that is my speciality. Wasn't my fault, nothing I could have done. Obtain a random boss relic. Uh, I can no longer obtain potions, but start with one energy. One energy is very good, but potions are very good too. What also sucks is that there's so many relics that synergize with potions. <sighs> so, um, since I have four energy, killing elites is a lot easier. It's still hard, but um, there's no path that is really good for rest. The left side has... The very left side has one additional rest, but it's not particularly good. So I guess we're going for question marks. So we've got three question marks here, into an elite, into a rest, into an elite. Um, then up here over these question marks. Maybe... Going for the merchant if I want to. Wow, what an amazing hand. Yeah, I don't want to cheat like that, Evergreen. That's cheating. It's called save scumming. Save scumming is bad. I bet you'll get the 5 HP per potion. True. True. There's a certain bet there. I drew none of my defensive cards there. You fucking ripper. I believe the term save scumming, I first heard it in relation to Heroes of Magic 3. It's when you die in a fight and you go, nah, and you just reload the order save. So I guess Bane is what I want. Obtain Golden Idol. Enemies drop 25% more gold. You better fucking believe it. Lose 6 max HP. So, Bouncing Flask, I love. 
Uh, especially with the setup that I have, and it's very good for the uh, elites. Removing a card is great. Bouncing Flask might be one of the few cards that I take over removal right now. It just helps so much considering I have been. Start combat with 10 armor. You know what? The health loss was not worth that. Gain 75 gold, lose 11 HP. Yep, this elite's going to be really hard now. Didn't start with the card that I wanted, chat. This will be bad. Even the relic I got is completely useless. I might die now. I am dead. Sweet. Shame I don't get to start with anything good now, but uh, let's see if we can get to an elite without we're, uh, keeping it at 1 HP. So I might be able to do this elite. Like, I can almost certainly do this elite by going to these two shops and keeping it 1 HP with Lament. It's hard to pass that up, considering it is the big boss elite as well. And I guess the rest doesn't matter. I get another shop, another rest. Yeah, okay, this this is just a weird path. I want this path there, because it's funny. It's funny. Uh, I do not want any of these cards. Mm -mm. No. No. This shop, uh... Skewer didn't start with the extra armor. Cow chops is good. Card removal is good, but I am coming up to another shop. Just gonna move a card. Give me gold. Ah, oh, feather is pretty good too. Give me something cheap and good. Oh, blade dance for twenty-five bucks. That's some good value. These would have been good too, but oh well. Yep. We'll get ourselves a free elite. The rest of this is trash. Hell yeah, and I hate this guy. Ha, huh, die. Bronze scales. Start each combat with three thorns. That's actually the same thing that that card that I passed up does. Ah well. Uh, escape plan is good. Am I versing more elites? Maybe, if I want to go this path, but I probably won't. Um, so I guess I'll just tape take escape plan. Dagger spray would be good for an elite, but... I didn't know why I took two damage here. Not enough money for kunai, exactly. Did not have the money, honey. One more damage. Okay, more po potions, okay. Do I want to take Flying Knee? My card quality is quite poor right now. I do not like Flying Knee. I'm not going to take it. You can't make me. Upgrade two random cards. It's not very good. Anchor? Or Why does it keep giving me Anchor? Anchor is terrible. So we upgrade Blade Dance. Ah, I should have upgraded uh, the thing for double weakness, but whatever. Um. Ah, oh, I love membership card. Well, this sucks. Can't do anything in this shop. Ho ho. And give up a card, that's good. So we'll give up a defend. Yeah. We will upgrade neutralize. Lay dance. 
shiv, 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 shiv. Escape plan, neutralize. Damage, damage. Can I start with 10 block because of Anka? I don't need to defend here. Hey, you guys, I made too many burgers. Do I want some? Yes, I do. Um, fuck, Blessing of the Forge, I guess. Flying Knee or Slice? Neither of these synergizes with anything that I have, and I don't really want either of them. Uh, may as well upgrade a card here, because I'm close enough to full HP. Nah, I guess I'll upgrade Survivor. I'm a survivor! So I have six thorns, so his own attacks are largely going to be responsible for him dying here. Do I even want to use the Dex Potion? I guess. I mean, I can. I don't need to use it this turn. I can. I can think about it later. Because remember, I don't get fully healed when I go into the next scene. So preserving some HP here is good. Yeah, this is on console and mobile. Mobile. So the goal here is just to defend, 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 and let him kill himself on my thorns. Your three thorns look cute, my dude. I got better though. Yeah, that was quite a hit. And I keep not getting defense when he's hitting me. He's just fucking himself. I do like it when enemies fuck themselves. His thorns look different from my thorns. This is true. Them's the facts, Jack. Um... Gotta get rid of a shiv, I guess. No. Your thorns are weak, fam. What would you add to quotes? This fight is taking forever. Forever and ever and ever. Uh, I did play GTA casually. I uh, didn't get to finish the game because of soft locks. So, none of this is crazy. Um, tool, tools of the trade has the most value here. Because powers always have the most value. I don't have any AoE though, so die, die, die would be good. Hmm. Like, tools of the trade is just really, really valuable because it cycles your deck so much faster, and you can, um, uh, control the quality of your deck. So this turn you don't need defense. You can just throw one off. Yeah, let's get tools of the trade. I can, I can get other AoE. All these suck. Oh, no, this doesn't suck. So what this is, is the first time you discard a card each turn, gain one energy, that perfectly synergizes with tools of the trade. I won't always have tools of the trade immediately, but yeah. Better than these two. This is only energy for boss and elites. And this, I have energy, but I can't see what my enemy is doing. Yeah. This is like the one time hovering kite's actually good.
So I get five rests in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's hard to pass that up. It has two elites in there too. And I get an early shop. Yeah, that's definitely the pro path here. I have no AoE. Uh-oh. Only thing that's going to carry me here is Blade Dance. These guys take four hits to fall down, not three. And they're all upgrading. Oh boy. Oh no. Just going to defend myself as much as possible, I suppose. Oh, I, ha I have fucking bronze scales. What am I fucking worried about? <laughs> they... They got themselves. Shame I didn't have a, a, any defense. Um. I should have just knocked one down, but no. Nah, so I guess I'll just defend this out. Um, wait, this is 21. Yeah, yes, we can knock one down and defend. Okay. Okay. Escape plan, always good. Cycles itself and potentially gets me some block. What? A merchant prefer a merchant? What is this bullshit? Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, gain six block. It's not terrible in my deck, actually, but it's... Because most of it's cycle, and I cycle fast, but it's not that good. Upgrading two skills is also not bad. I do need AoE. Healing potion wouldn't, wouldn't be bad either. Like, just removing a card and doing healing potion... ...is pretty interesting. Hmm... Regen potion plus card move? Yeah, but two card upgrades. Yeah. Yeah, mm, yeah, I think so. Just make my deck a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah. No point going to the trap. So I guess we'll. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna skip a fight. I'm just gonna skip a fight. Accuracy would have been good. I shouldn't have even looked in it only having four gold. Just tease me with what I can't have. Yeah, true, I could have saved the gold and gone for the shop, but nah, you know. But, uh, you know, a bird in the hand versus, you know, two in the bush. Um, I do need to use a potion here at some point. Guess it will be now. Slowly but surely killing him. He will die. Yeah, good. He only got his first hit off too. Well laid plans. It's just, it's, it's like the weakest power in the entire game, but it again gives me control over my deck. Oh, it's Carl's video. That's fine. Backflip is better. I hate backflip. I hate it. Its block is so low. No. I don't want backflip. It's not a terrible card. I just... It just never impresses me. I got no synergy with powers. I'll leave while they plans.
these guys are going to eat my face. They buff for five damage every turn. Five. I can't slow down here. I have to do as much damage as possible. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, he will kill himself, but I still have to kill him. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, I still have to kill him. Oh my god, my damage is way too low. Don't hurt me, please. I just, what am I discarding here? I need the block. Might be the last turn I can block a lot. Need to kill him like immediately. I need damage. I need blade dance. Blade dance please one time. Yeah, okay. Just barely, dude. And he's still getting stronger every turn, man. Stop it. Um... Give me Blade Dance. Okay. So the only damage that I have. Skewer for 40 damage isn't that bad. It's not. Considering how low my damage is right now, Skewer would actually not be bad. Quick Slash isn't terrible either. Yeah. Because I am going up against the elites as well. Yeah, two elites, yeah. Uh, do I want to rest here? I mean, what am I upgrading if I don't? Like, tools of the trade upgrade isn't that crazy. No, I guess I want to rest. Oh, thank fuck, because it's this guy. And there's this asshole. Got a potion for 10 damage, which might save my bacon. Um, I can't take too long in this fight. Actually, no, because I have thorns, this thing. Because I have scales, this won't be too bad. He has a lot of multi hits. So I can do 40 damage. Or defend eight. I think I might defend eight and then do 30 damage. Just kill yourself. My face, no. Skewer kills him. Hooray! Whenever you use a potion, heal five. For a second there, I thought this was last game where that does nothing, but it actually does something now. Next turn, gain two energy. Because I have Skewer, energy gaining stuff is good. But at the same time, I just don't like outmaneuver. I just don't. You never know what cards you're going to have next turn, if that's going to be really valuable for you or not. Guess we heal again. Choose a power you can start with. Well, I definitely want to start with Tools of the Trade. Twenty damage. I hate Snacko. All my cards are now random quality. 
Well, I don't want... Uh, don't want that one. So, do this first, I suppose. Okay, they give me three defense. Do I want to try to defend this? Or just do 16 damage? I guess I care about the damage. This fight just gets harder as you go along. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, except he's doing fuck tons of damage right now. I'm weakened. Do I prioritize? Well, I have to prioritize the damage. Where the fuck am I smoking? Oh, he's still doing 27 damage. That's not ideal. There's less than ideal. Free neutralize is good. So you're in seven now. That's good. That's good. 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 Let the hate flow through you. Please give me enough damage. Okay. Good. Good. Do you want to form an alliance with me? You better believe I do. Play the top three cards of your draw pile. Sounds chaotic. Another escape plan. Hell yeah. I need something that synergizes with these zero mana skills. So we're doing the boss. With the potions I have, this shouldn't be too hard. My relics kind of... Uh, Leave a lot to be desired, but... Skewer could be one of the cards I cast with Distilled Chaos. I don't want that to happen. Well, the skew would do nothing if I had no mana. So I can kill him. No, I'm better off just killing the first guy. And then trying to defend this out. Okay, okay, okay. That went okay. Um, I need one damage. So he will die if I do 40 damage against him. I guess that's dumb. Let's kill this dude. A lot of wounds in my deck right now, chat. That is uh, a lot of wounds. Uh, all non-English gets timed out because there's no way to know if you're violating a TOS or not. Terror is good. Uh, singing Bowl means I can raise my HP by two rather than pick a card. Terror is just too good though for what I'm doing. Okay, heal again. Are there still any cards I want to upgrade? Not really. My card quality is not great because I have nothing that synergizes with anything I'm doing. I cast so many attacks and so many skills, but I have none of the things to synergize with either of those things. I can, will he die? He'll die after he hits me. Um, I can kill him by using this potion. Yeah, I suppose it makes sense.
I also could I could I could have just drawn back no nah, I could have drawn back Blade Dance because it would have been worth zero anyway. Uh, whatever. Whatever. It's only thirty damage. Yeah, exactly. Should heal him, heal him if I don't kill. Exactly, yeah. Should have explained that. Another blade dance is good, even though I still have no synergies for it. And I may as well now upgrade blade dance. So, this dude I'm versing has artifact on him. Three artifacts, as a matter of fact. I want to put Terra on him, but I have to use Neutralize on him three times to get to be able to put Terra on him. That's uh, not ideal. And because I have no synergies, I'm basically shivering. I'm shivering a robot to death, and that's going to take a long time. Um, I'm possibly not going to win this. That's one. Um, I have to defend this out. What is he taking here? My cards are so bad. Survivor. Wow. You know your deck's bad when it's taking Survivor. Skewer for 40 damage. Yeah, I got Survivor back. Woo, yeah. I'm a survivor. That's a song, guys. May not have been obvious given my terrible rendition. <laughs> Woo, now I can survive. If I take too long to kill this guy, um, uh, he does like a super mega death beam. I can put terror on him now. Oh, there it is. There's the Super Mega Death Beam. Right on schedule. Where's Terra? There it is. Last card. Uh, am I surviving the Super Mega Death Beam? I don't think so. So I had every situation to develop a synergy. And I got nothing that synergizes. Fucking nothing. The game just gave me nothing the entire time. You guys enjoy it, but it, have I reached the end of Slayer's Fight? Yeah, I, I beat Ascension 20 um, and the Haas on, um, with Ironclad. But only recently came back to it. Thanks for watching, and while I'm sure you're eager to get the endless other videos on this channel, I'd like to take a moment of your time to wish you all the best.